So in a, in a previous video, I talked about um, uh, if one is doing muscle testing and is hit by, you know, luciferic or satanic energies, uh, one can, one's energies, acupuncture meridians can get blown out and the muscle test readings can be off course. And someone was asking me, what do I mean by that? Well, ultimately, in absolute truth, there is no me and other doesn't exist. Now, that would also be in, on the physical plane. The me and the other doesn't exist. And that would be the experience because you'd be in oneness, even if you were witnessing uh, what, was, what is this realm. And uh, even if you are in what's called a non-dual spiritual, I mean, in a dualistic spiritual realm, are you floating around and there's others seemingly entities floating around, uh, so if we say the astral realm, uh, there, you know, there are those, uh, you know, one can be at a certain vibration and other spirits. But in this, in this field, uh, you know, there, uh, the thing of um, duality is that, you know, is that if I'm, in, if I'm still uh, identified with my body and my identity as Sabir in this world and an axe murderer, well, I perceive what is an axe murderer with an axe, you know, just chops my foot off. Uh, I will perceive that that person in my ego is not a really nice person. So uh, to me, and it would seem in my perception that that person is real. And that would, I'd say, also occurs in the spirit, you know, spiritual astral realm. So you can also connect, even while you're in body, with uh, entities from other, um, other uh, astral realms, either the heavenly or the uh, lower astral, you know, typically called uh, the hellish or the lower domains. Um, and those can actually um, hit you in this, while you're in a physical body. In absolute truth, there is no me and other. So there is no me and other bad people in this world, in absolute truth. But if you're not there and you're hooked into your identity, then, you know, you could say that people like Adolf Hitler, Osama bin Laden, uh, axe murderers, whatever, they do seem to exist and they could seem to shoot your body or chop bits off and can be unpleasant. So that would be your experience while you're hooked into duality. And also, uh, there are methods of, you know, uh, tuning into those realms, heavenly and, and, and those lower realms. And also you can be, even while in the physical body, especially those who are more sensitive, be, be, um, feel like you've got in the presence of an angel or feel heavenly influences around you, or you might feel like some dark energy just hit you while you're in duality. Now, of course, um, if you haven't purified your ego, then of course, motives which are based on uh, the seven deadly sins, fear, greed, and anger can come from within, or entities in other physical bodies or energetic entities. Um, uh, if you could just mute, you, mute yourself, can, uh, I think someone's come in. Can, uh, yeah, thanks, um, can sort of hit you. So that's what I mean. So while you're in duality, even in this physical realm, you could say other people in physical bodies could have an effect on you or other entities that are wafting around um, of the higher realms or lower realms could, could sort of hit you in a positive, like an angelic feeling of love or feel like a, a negative uh, influence has just sort of uh, blown out your energies. Okay, so I'm going to stop there.